Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sailor Agenda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3 as the UK. In the last episode, we concluded our brief victorious war with France, and now we are at peace, building up the navy and making our way through the 1890s. Maybe in quality, but so many of what I have are the repulse class. So let's just focus on building up our armored cruisers. Oh boy. Well, this started a war last time. I'm not quite ready for another war immediately. Maybe let's just send a cruiser this time. Okay, we have 11 inch guns. They're tragically bad, but not doctrine. Research. Minus two, but then again, every gun caliber nine inch and above is minus two at the moment, so that's just how it is in 1891. At least our four inch guns are decent. Do have guns set to high, so hopefully we get better ones sooner or later. Hmm. Oh. Wow. We needed those battleships on Foreign Station, huh? Okay, well, I will assign more um, armored cruisers to the purpose instead, or, uh... Protected cruisers, that is. Much rather have cruisers on the job than battleships. Not much to, well, I should build more docks, actually. Hold on, do we have the money for that? Not really. Okay, well. 17,000 tons should be enough for our next battleship class, realistically, I mean. Honestly, the Hannibals are about all you could ask for in a battleship right at this moment, and they're only 15,000, so... France is sending a force to Hainan. We should issue an ultimatum. Wow, relations are soured. If we're, if we're back at war with France in like a year, honestly, I'll be more annoyed than anything. You kidding me? Yes, I'm prepared to fight a war at once if uh, we must safeguard our interests. Well, okay, hold on. My prestige, though. Well, we should prepare for future conflicts by strengthening the Navy. YST engine, weight savings. We are dangerously close to war with France again. All right, Drake, King Alfred, and your Yalis are completed. Success is eluding our scientists on many things. So we got these now, 9,800 tons, 21 knots, 4 9-inch, 10 6-inch, 12 3-inch, 4-inch belt, 2-inch deck. I would say they're balanced. They will definitely make up the numbers in what's otherwise a basically non-existent armored cruiser force. Since we only have the diadems, and we have a lot of money all of a sudden. Well, I'm going to lay down... what do we have now? That'll put us at nine armored cruisers, I'm going to lay down one more drake. And then, with the rest of them, and bigger docks, just so we have a good idea of our budget. And then... I mean, a new class of protected cruiser won't be out of order pretty soon, but... More battleships, really. Even though we have a lot, but we need to kind of replace the repulses, so yeah. And the Hannibals are quite nice, but we can probably do better. Let's see here, what does it look like if I want a pre-dreadnought with 18 knots of speed? 
Normal freeboard. Normal range. Coal engines. Um, 11 inch armor belt. And a two and a half inch deck. And probably a thick conning tower and turrets too. And we are not going to have the displacement to build this. I think we don't have any torpedo defense, right? Nope. Normal accommodation. Okay, well, I don't need 13 inch guns. I don't think they're even that much better. Maximum penetration, 8 inches. 7. I mean, obviously, they have a significantly higher throw weight of shell, but. Submerged torpedo tubes. 14 6 inch guns. Do we have the capacity to build this weight wise? Yes, just barely. I mean, it's a 16,600 ton ship, which is a lot. Oh, and that's too many guns. What was the maximum? 34? Okay, 34. I don't suppose that saves me. That does not save me 100 tons. Fine, getting too greedy. We can't put any fire control on. We don't know what that is. So... I mean, this is about as good as we can do right now, I think. It's not exactly complicated. It's just big and expensive. Let's get that designed, and we'll lay a few of them down as soon as they're finished. Okay, good. Three dock size. And we will complete a couple of drakes, Monmouth and Essex, or no, Leviathan. So that will give us quite a bit of money that we can use for these illustriouses. We can lay f Honestly, we can pretty comfortably lay five immediately, so that's what we'll do. We'll probably aim for about, um... What are France and Russia together going to have? 14, 20, uh, 36? Yeah, we cannot match that. We'll aim for like... 25. Hey, Fox King. We'll aim for like 25 battleships after we decommission all the repulses because they're terrible. And we do have to think about new protect cruisers as well, but let's focus on the battleships first. Just because, um, hmm. Is it worth it? I mean, he is wily. But he's only average. I'm not going to spend prestige on this guy. Just cashier him. So, yeah, okay. So we've got three armored cruisers, five battleships building, and new docks. We want to get the repulses out of service as quickly as possible. And the protected cruisers, they're just such a mixed bag. I mean, some of them, like these, are good. Essentially good, at least. But others, like these, are terrible. So we got to build... We need a little more standardization in the fleet. That's just inevitable. This close to the, you know, it's almost all legacy fleet, and there's no sense, rhyme or re reason to it. Loading mechanization, rate of fire improvement. 
telescopic sights, accuracy. Honestly, that's what we need more than absolutely anything else. That's that's why I have uh, fire control set to maximum. We, our budget will not actually quite last until those drakes are done, but they'll be pretty close. Shipbuilding steel, weight saving. Oh, Germany has stolen tech from us. Let's send them a diplomatic note. Okay, tensions have fallen a lot, so I guess we're not imminently going to go back to war with France. Actually, tensions are highest with Germany, but that would be very one-sided at this date. They do have more armored cruisers than me, but they have hideously less battleships, and their biggest battleships only have two 10-inch guns. Really, this is the biggest ship in the German fleet. Yeah. Not very afraid of it. Okay. This is at the very start of their historic naval buildup, of course, so it's not surprising. Captain Pigot is a spy for Germany. Um... I don't know, have him shot. Case might be political and motivated. Yeah, have him shot anyway. No sense in taking chances. How much money were we losing per turn? A lot. Okay, well, we're gonna have to pause battleship until we can get the drakes done. It's fine. Captain Pope has been placed in charge of our first battle division. He is a poor ship handler. Great. Yeah, we're gonna have to pause another battleship. Oh well. At least our docks are finished. And Bedford and Essex are commissioned. Captain Custance has been... How many... What is wrong with our officers? Get your acts together, people! Harvey Armor. Considerable armor quality improvement. Oh boy, we didn't even have Harvey armor yet at the start, let alone crop. Melanite, better shell damage. Uh, yes, anything we build now. I don't know how exactly it works on the back end, but I mean, there should be just radical improvements in armor quality. But it also doesn't really simulate very effectively how a lot of these battleships would have, like, yeah, I guess a lot of them do have really thick armor belts at this time, huh? Maybe I shouldn't put only an 11-inch belt on those, but... Because I was thinking more in terms of, like, Krupp numbers, but, uh... Yeah, well, it's still better than the Repulses. And honestly, it doesn't necessarily make that much difference, because... The guns of this time period struggle to penetrate even that much anyway. Okay, so we have budget again. How many repulses do I have to replace? Three, seven. Once I build these five, that will put us at twenty-five, no, twenty-seven. I need five more beyond that to replace all the repulses if I'm aiming for twenty-five battleships. We do have to stay ahead of Russia, who are building insanely ambitiously. I don't know how they're affording all that, considering they have, well, they're way behind us on protected cruisers, but otherwise. Well, let's lay down another illustrious. And... Protected cruisers. Some of them are very bad. What do I want out of a protected cruiser for the fleet right now? Probably a whole pile of 6-inch guns. At least 21 knots top speed, but not that much armor. Let's see here. 
Yes, this understands the idea. 21 knots, normal. 4 inch belt, 2 inch deck. 7.5 inch conning tower. Seems like excess, honestly. 4 inch turret faces. Wow, that was a lot of displacement cost. Oh my god. At least it's still necessary, though. Protected cruiser, normal. I mean, long range costs me how much? A lot. We want colonial cruisers. We'll have to build, like, dedicated colonial cruisers rather than fleet cruisers that are also colonial cruisers. How many guns is this? Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Okay. So that does seem to be pretty standard at the moment. Let's say fourteen of those plus. Our existing ships have. The ones that have six inch guns barely have any secondaries. Noted. I would like to have some secondaries, probably. Like eight four inch guns, maybe. Yes, ship is seriously overweight. It's not that bad. Well, I mean, it is, but. 8,900 tons. That's awfully heavy. It's only 2,000 tons lighter than a lot of our battleships. On the other hand, it's actually lighter than some of our existing classes, so... We could save some by cutting back to, like, 12 6-inch guns or something. But there are a lot of protected cruisers running around that have like 8 or 9 inch guns still at this point, so I think this is probably the minimum I want, really. Yeah, let's go with it. Terpsichore class. We might need to also have a dedicated colonial cruiser class. Um... We have annexed Norway. That's a thing. Proved AP shot design, AP penetration. Right. We now own Norway. That was easy. The North Sea Empire is restored. Well, except we should have Denmark also, but close enough. Now to build that gigantic minefield across this entire area that they actually thought about and kind of tried to do during World War One. We have sunk a German fishing boat. They deserved it. Shouldn't have been sailing there. Terrorists, of course, are ready. We don't really have the budget to actually build them currently, but... Uh... Bear it in mind. How much for one? 1700 Yeah, we don't have the budget. Once the Drake is finished, or uh, the HMS Kent, that is. But... Scientists are struggling with things. One would think Germany should not want to fight us. They will be crushed. Compromises? Nonsense. Compromise on nothing. Well, do I want to bother with a war with Germany? It would be hilariously one-sided. Whatever. Don't compromise on things. Group design calculations, weight saving on whole. Really, I suppose, as Britain, we should be bullying people as early on as possible, because it'll be way harder to bully people. Germany once they actually get momentum going, but if we annexed all their colonial possessions and collapsed their government right now, they would probably be hamstrung for, like, the rest of the game. Not very cinematic or uh, sporting of us, but... Optimal, perhaps. Get 
just about probably afford to lay down two terpsichores. I don't know what exactly. Well, if we aim for like, I don't know, 40 protected troops, that's really still more than we need. Um, once they start commissioning, I'm going to start phasing out things like these champions that are just floating target ships, basically. Oh boy, France is also spying on us. Bastards. Struggling with naval academies. Shikishima. It's a lot of six inch guns. Only a ten inch main armament though. And very thin armor for any battleship. So not too great. We can't quite float until next month. I'll just pause a Terpsichore. And we've commissioned Kent. Russo-Austro-Hungarian alliance. Well, um, that kind of ruins the central powers. Assume those. Okay, so we're up to ten armored cruisers. That's good. It's still not that dominant. We actually probably should build more, but... It's a big improvement from the start of the game. Yeah, I guess as far as protected cruisers go, we should probably drop to like 30 or 35 of them and focus on getting up to like 20 armored cruisers or something. But, I mean, we need a lot of protected cruisers to cover the enormous world-spanning empire, of course. They are much more cost-effective for it than the uh, armored cruisers are. Well, go for the win, I don't care about offending Spain. Have a small monthly surplus. We're up to twenty thousand ton docks. That's more than enough for now, honestly. It'd be hard to build a pre-dreadnought that exceeds that. We don't have a very comfortable numerical superiority in battleships over Russia, I have to say. They'll be up to 25 to our 28 shortly. Which is praised, but... I mean, ours are definitely heavier on average, but not by that much. Oh boy, a regional war in the Balkans again. We will still sell whatever to them. Our scientists are failing. And, and turn. Rebellion in Puerto Rico. Seems like the US is business, honestly, but... Not my business, anyway. I mean, I guess I could support the rebels to create trouble for Spain, but uh, a war with Spain would be just horrifically one-sided at any stage. I mean, they're just way too weak by the 1890s already, and they only get relatively weaker from there. We do have a slight monthly surplus, but... Uh, we pretty much have to wait for these battleships to finish out, and we can decide what we want to build next, but... It really just might be a matter of laying down even more armored cruisers. We haven't gotten any tech development that's that would render them... ineffective or anything. We could push for a slightly bigger class with, like, 
five inch belt or something that I'd probably rather build more terpsichores, honestly. That way we can... All these that are under 5,000 tons are not very useful. There are a lot of them around. I mean, honestly, whose idea was this? This is a destroyer. I mean, nobody's invented destroyers yet, but, yeah. Hmm. Captain Dyson of HMS Royal Sovereign has fought a duel with Captain Fenner of HMS... Oh, of the 3rd Colonial Cruiser Division. Well, it's a shame, because I like this guy, theoretically, but, uh... I don't really care to lose prestige for individual officers. Let's just have them both court-martialed. Improved watertight integrity, damage control improvement. Oh good, we're about to invent destroyers. That would be where the budget will go if we can invent them. Get some proper screens for the fleet. An alliance with the USA, huh? We're stronger without alliances that might heighten tensions. Smokeless powder, accuracy rate of fire, and destroyers exist now. Well, um... We're gonna need ourselves some of those. 300 tons. realize it's kind of crippling to a ship this small to ask for any kind of range, but we are Britain. We really don't have very much use for ships that aren't at least medium ranged. I mean, it's just too damaging for them to be short ranged because they can't be moved at all in wartime. Speed, yes. Cramped accommodation, fine. We're going to have to cut back on the secondary guns. Hi, Huffman. Um, man, I don't even know if it's really possible to do without... Uh, we're going to have to cut on speed, I guess. These are going to be very terrible destroyers, aren't they? I mean, at 300 tons, all we can really get out of them, if we want to have any kind of range, is... Even if I accept short range... Which we might just have to with these... Don't then, I mean. Twenty four knots is not fast enough to why if I have twenty four knots is the center line suddenly overcrowded. Okay, well. It's very problematic. 300 tons is just not enough for anything very... I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a torpedo boat at that point, not a torpedo boat destroyer. 
And I guess I just have to think of it that way. So, short range, cramped accommodation. It's only got three centerline mounts. What if I replaced them with... I think Desperate is an appropriate name for that class, honestly. Good grief. I don't even know if that I want them. Thanks for watching, sailors. Hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Genda, signing off.